So what are some of your absolute, uh, let me take one step back because I like what you just said about if we can identify what's really going on, there are three primary approaches. And I know many of our listeners are like, oh, she said antibiotics. Um, but why do you think antibiotics are so important? And why is it that a lot of people can just take one course of antibiotics, get rid of the bacterial overgrowth, and move on and be fine for the rest of their lives? So I'm going to start with the, oh, shock, shock it. She said antibiotics. So first of all, let's, let's just take a breath. Antibiotics, obviously, you know, can save your life. So they are not the evil empire. Is there an overuse of antibiotics in the world today? Heck yeah, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. Um, but in this particular case with those two polarizing opposite, you know, concepts of, well, what could I use an antibiotic for? There is an antibiotic that I know you know about called Zyfaxin, Rifaximin is also what you'll hear about, and same drug. And it is what they actually give to people who have traveler's diarrhea. It stays in the small intestine. And this was from Dr. Mark Pimentel from Cedar sinai He's the one who was like, let's look at Rifaximin for this condition. And he's really, I think, the one who's going to find the long-term cure for this too. Thank goodness he's, he's working on it actively. But rifaximin stays in the small intestine, so it does not nuke your entire microbiome. It's a fascinating drug, and um, it's a very different antibiotic. So, yes. right? So they even sometimes use it to treat C. diff, which can be caused by antibiotics. Um, it's, just, it's a fascinating drug. You can research more about it, but the fact is, is that you when you have the three types of gases that the bacteria overgrowing in your small intestine can create, one is methane, one is hydrogen, and one is hydrogen sulfide. And the, the antibiotic approach for the hydrogen is rifaximin at, for two weeks. I'll tell you the caveat there. And then for methane, it's rifaximin often combined with neomycin. Now, neomycin is a systemic. It is going to probably nuke your microbiome to a certain extent. But if you're really trying to get that bacterial load down in the small intestine and it's methane producers, and that those are the more difficult ones to treat, um, you have to weigh what's gonna work for you and you know your pros and cons there. And then hydrogen sulfide is um, more difficult to treat. It's an emerging set of treatments. Um, they are using bismuth subnitrate um, to help with that. And Dr. Pimentel, the last time I spoke with him, he was like, you know what, do that swig of Pepto-Bismol with your antibiotics. And, you know, they're, they're making observations about the results. 